Hey everybody, it's Alex. I, uh, of course you know why, why I'm here. <laughs> but I went to um, <clears throat> Michael's yesterday to get, um, I wanted to look at the colored pencils and like the blending tools and like those blending stumps and stuff like that. Excuse me, I just took a bite of macaroni and cheese. <laughs> um, but anyways, I got... <coughs> I got some of that stuff, and I also went to Goodwill today, and I found a few things, and I just want to show you guys. <clears throat> Excuse my eating. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So, these are the colored pencils I chose to start off with. These Artist Loft 36 colored pencils. And they didn't say that they were wax-based, because I... Um, found out that I guess you have to they have to be wax based in order to blend them with with that odorless mineral spirits type stuff but I found out that they were so I went ahead and got them and these are regular um, $5.99 and I got them with a 40% off coupon so they have all kinds of colors I really like these these are cool so the blending stump that I got is also the artist loft brand and it comes in a pack of 10 and most of you probably already know but this is what they look like it's just like a really thick wound up like bunched up thing of paper so you know you take this and you dip it in your the little liquid and you just rub wherever you color it to blend it in so I got that and then this is the stuff I didn't see anything that said mineral spirits or anything like that so I found out that this would do the same thing it says right there um, it's used as a thinner for artists for oil colors varnishes used as a cleaner for oil painting brushes other tools and accessories so it's pretty dangerous <laughs> but um yeah this works and I've been playing with this so that's all I got for Michaels yesterday these three um, with my 40% off, of course, you know, Michaels don't let you use one per transaction. Um, it was like a little over $15. Because $5.99, 5 or $4.99, $5.99. So that was Michaels. So then I went to Goodwill today. And I'll show you. Um, I was going to show you. I'll show you the stuff that I bought from the like the retail part. Move this out of the way. Okay, so I found these long yellow envelopes for a dollar six. I bought them for. I don't know why, but my mind was uh, kind of going when I saw these. I'm like, I wonder what I could do with these. So these are just like regular, like a legal size or bill size envelope for $1.06. I also got them in like a white color. Just looks normal. I might be able to like cut them in half and do something with them. I don't know. So I got those. Then I picked up this really pretty like glittery um, box of unopened Christmas cards. And I know I like to make Christmas cards, but I don't make them for everybody because there's some people that don't really appreciate it. <laughs> um, but there's 18 of them for a dollar six in here, and I guess they would have been bought. Hey, you can see me at CVS. Okay, so those are the ones where I kind of like was like, huh? Oh well, well I'll just grab them anyway. <laughs> um. Now, I have been, t I've said this all along, I've had such a hard time finding white cardstock in the store. I think when they stock it, they only put like a couple of packs and then, you know, it's gone real quick. So, I found this, if you guys can see, I don't know if I can pick this up, I'm kind of stuck. It's um, a 9 by 11 memory book, it has 35 pages, and it says heavyweight cardstock. Now I want to use this for, I want the cardstock, well plain white for just anything in general. And, um, but I wanted to use it to stamp so I can color. Because I use, now, what I've always done, I just buy these, um, 
plain on both side index cards but with the Bic markers it bleeds and runs everywhere so I like to color with those too and it goes everywhere so I think cardstock would be better and also I have watercolor paper and it bleeds on that too so anyways I picked this little pack up for oh hello again 206 and I guess it's what kind of like it would be like a junk journal some sort of art journal I'm just going to take it apart so so that was that um, yeah those are the ones these are the stuff I paid full price for I found this um, Stampin' Up! ink pad and I was kind of questioning I mean there was a little um, sandwich baggie that was full of old ink a dink -a doo like used um, ink pads and I was like I don't want to buy one more like I bought a couple um, that are just so runny and so watery and it gets all over everything and I know this is like an older stamp pad of course the other ones like slide and flip up but I was gonna try it anyway and it's water based so I don't think I'd be able to use it um, like with the blender pen or anything like that because it would just smear so I bought it for a dollar six I don't know if that's a good price given this is an older um, stamp pad so anyways then I found this little thing of stamping up stamps now they're not wood mounted or anything they actually have foam and <clears throat> you're supposed to like I guess break them all apart and put the stickers on the foam for what they are now I wish they were bigger because I'd be able to color that in and it'll look really neat Huh. Okay. <laughs> but it would look really cute, these colored in. And I know these are old, they say 93, but I grabbed them anyway, especially when it was a dollar six. <laughs> there was also like another, um, you know those like big um, plastic um, bee containers um, that we put to sort our stuff in? There was one of those um, that was full of these kinds of um, stamps and like foam stamps but they were they were like kind of kiddish and they wanted like eight dollars for it and I just wouldn't buy it I mean I like stamps you can use I mean when you make something for somebody you know nine times out of ten they don't know what your stamps look like they don't know if they're they're dirty they don't know if you've had them for ten years they don't they don't know that so but I just couldn't see spending ten dollars or eight dollars I guess then I thought he was so stinking cute. Look at this guy. Isn't he adorable? Let me try to zoom in. Look, he's got a little butt in there. He's so cute. Anyways, they're starting, people are starting to donate their fall stuff now. And they, they're putting it out. This was brand new with the tag. He's so cute. And um, I paid 206 for him. Now, if he would have been in the pay by the pound part, I would have paid more. So I got a better deal this way. But you take this out, and it's really deep. You could put a candle, or you could just leave that there, or um, put something in there, and maybe put some candy corns or something. But I really like him. He's super cute. Now, the my best find in there, I would say, are these. This old. Well, older, because see it says 90s color range. Older pack of Prismacolor pencils. 24 in a pack. And they're all in there. And none of them are sharpened. They haven't even been used. So hopefully, I bet they're still good. I mean, I don't know if something like that goes bad. But <clears throat> I was so excited to find these. But then kind of bummed at the same time because I just spent that money yesterday on colored pencils. And they were a dollar six. And it lists like all the colors that's in here. That was neat. Same thing. Actually, I think these do the same thing. Yep. These. Oh, I don't want to show those. This lists all of their colors that are in here too. And I love some of the names on here. Lemon Yellow. So. Okay. So that was all of my regular retail stuff. 
Okay, in the pay by the pound part, I just got this little, this is another one of those magnet things for the fridge, but it's for Christmas. And nothing says that I'd use it. I, I might be able to like stick it in a rack or something like that. Um, I found this little pack of dimensional stickers for Thanksgiving. I thought these were cute. And they wanted a dollar six for that. Um, you know what? Okay, wait, wait, wait. This is from the Pay by the Pound. This is still from the, uh, I paid a dollar six for this. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, because I remember negotiating, like, in my brain, like, okay, well, I would have spent a dollar fifty on it, you know, if I bought it at the store, or if it was from Dollar Tree, I'd still spend a dollar on it, so, and I really liked it, and it's cheaper than still, like, Michael's stuff, <laughs> so, that, that's, that's right, I, I bought that inside, and this I also bought inside. It's a two-pack, they taped it together, oh, no, they didn't, okay, it opens. Um, of Halloween cards, sending warm thoughts and smiles your way. This one has a glittery pumpkin, a cat, and a moon. And then you flip up the other side, and it says, Hope the joy in every little something, something, something. <laughs> but it's a little glittery witch with a little cat ghost. And this was a dollar six. Oh, they were super cute. Okay, so. That was pay by the pound stuff. I also found this book. Let's see, my camera is not working here. Let me try to adjust this tripod. Oops. Up, not down. I think that might be better. Okay. This paper quilling um, book. It shows you how to do like these roses all these little things in here it shows you how to do them it tells you the tools you need though I'm sure you'd probably be able to modify a bit um, gives you it's kind of got water damage gives you directions on how to do some things some project ideas see like shows you tells you what to do so I thought this book was pretty neat. Um, it was a 1999 book. So that was that. Um, I also grabbed this cute little pink container to store stuff in. I found some of these big clips. My husband actually likes to use these um, to clip the bags of chips. <laughs> So I grabbed these for him. I found this. It's really cool. Look at this thing. It's like maybe it was ribbon or something, but it has Joy to the World song on there um, that you hear during Christmas time. And it's like all this cool like music note. And it's like paper. I thought it was really cool. It's got some red glitter all over it. Oh, geez, excuse that car outside. That was loud. But that was neat. I really like that one. Um, then I grabbed this. It's a pack. It was like a pack like this from Oriental Trading Company. But I like all these beads for like stick pins. These are cool. And they're, I feel like glass. I'm not sure. There's directions on how to do something in here, but oh no, they're plastic. Yeah, but you can use these for stick pins. They'll be really pretty. And there's a bunch of them. And look, they're Christmas colors. So there was a bunch of them in there. A bunch of different kinds of things. I'd probably open it to see what else is in there. Oh, what's that? I guess it's well, obviously it's directions on how to make something. Oh, look, it's a. Um, there's a head pin and a bead. Oh, it's not a head pin. It's something. You can make something. It's directions to how to do something. So that'll be neat to see what all that's about. At first I was just going to keep the beads. <laughs> but we'll see what that, what you can make with that. 
Then I grabbed all of these, with the exception of this little sheet. It's like a tissue paper for when I send out stuff. And there's quite a bit of it, and a lot of it's really pretty. Oh, I got her some Play-Doh. She already opened it. <laughs> You know, some of it's a little muted for colors, but I like that one. It's gray. So, that one's like paper, too. So I just grab those for when I send things out, like racks and swap type stuff. I also found this. It was a brand new pack of uh, um, stylus pens. You see that? Brand new. I was going to see if it worked on my phone, but it doesn't. As a, my phone takes a special pen. So if anybody um, could use these, just private message me. Let's see. I also found... I got a bunch of stuff in my way, don't I? My desk is a mess. I also found these like metal storage things like they have at uh, Target. They're just plain silver. There was that one and a shorter one and this one I'm not quite sure it's open at one side it's really long I don't know what you would you put put in there or use that for <clears throat> but anyways grab those and then there is a bin that had some stuff um, these say baby boy um, cutouts for your scrapbook. Big Lots, I guess, had them for 99 cents. And they're just die cuts. There are a bunch of different die cuts on here. Really cute. There's that one. And then there's one for sports. Then I found, it's just a little piece of this, uh, like a, like the directions are gone, but it's a little crown. You could use that in a layout. It's a little foam thing. You put it together. It's not glued or anything. Then I saw these, and these were at Dollar General. I've never seen anything like this at Dollar General. And I don't, I don't know. They're kind of cool looking. This one is for soccer, though I don't know anybody who plays soccer. <laughs> this one's basketball. Really cute. It's like real clothes, like like, like Barbie and Ken clothes. <laughs> then, oh, sorry. Then there was this one that's sports again. That one's cute. Daddy likes football. Then there was this big thing here, this big pack. It has a bunch of frames. And this was 99 cents too, though you'll probably never find it at Big Lots again for 99 cents because everyone's raising their prices. But, anyways, this big pack. There's 12 die cut frames in here. It would be really cute. You can even use that like on the front of a card. Like that one's cute with the lovebirds. There's that, and then one more thing I found, sorry. I found, and this is in the pay by the pound part. This is kind of like what was in the, the retail part for like eight bucks. There's a little ink pad. There's a bunch of these smaller little stamps that my daughter could use. And a lot of them, actually I think all of them, are Happy Easter. Yep, they're all Happy Easter. So that is it on all that stuff. I think I spent like $4.85 or something like that. So that's all I have. Um, I would show you what I was coloring, but I kind of want to make the cards first. I don't really want to spoil it by showing you what I colored. So that will be another video. Also, something I got in the mail would be another video. So this doesn't take forever. So, okay guys, that's what I got. It was nice talking with you guys. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.